You already know what it is, Shimei Man, Mass Pike, Miles, Maybach, Music, Groups, Own, R&B, Phenomenon, R&B, Hustler, R&B, Entrepreneur, R&B, Everything. Shout out to PS, we the best.com. You already know they make movies. So if you ain't on that.com, you ain't on the right.com. I'm a hustler. That's what I am. I'm a hustler. On, I do R&B, I sing, rap, produce. I'm an entrepreneur. That's what I am. Well, you know, my pops is a musician, so it's in my blood. You know what I'm saying? Like a nigga always been into the music. You know what I'm saying? Nigga grew up with a piano in front of him. So, you know what I'm saying? I, that, that's what happened. What came first was was the music. Well, you know, when I was younger, you know what I'm saying, my first songs that I ever knew was Miles Davis records, you know what I'm saying? My pops do, you know, he's in the jazz and all that. You know what I mean? And uh, other than that, you know what I'm saying, when I, you know, when I was coming up as a shorty, I was in the biz market, Just Ice, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, De La Soul and other niggas like that. Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson especially. You know what I'm saying? My first record was um, The Girl Is Mine by Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson and shit. That was my first record I ever bought and had playing, you know what I mean, on repeat. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't the, that I knew what I wanted to do, my nigga. It was more or less like it was what I could do. It was what I was able to do, you know what I'm saying? When you when you coming up, you know what I'm saying, and, and you're into your music shit, or you come up with a pops like mine, it's pretty much instilled in you, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? You know, that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? I was basically born with it, so it was instilled. You know what I mean? What I had to do first was plan. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, proper preparation prevents poor performance. So that's basically what it was. A nigga sat down and played a plot and strategized on how I can control the game and control the market. You know what I'm saying? I knew, you know, you know, I sat back from being an artist and, and, and other things like that and really focused on the background aspect of the music, you know what I'm saying? Which gave me a proper proper insight on how I need to approach the game, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. I planned and strategized. That's what I did. I did this record with Rick Ross called Get It Together, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it basically was like, uh, you know, that was my first, like, like shot as a solo artist, you know what I'm saying? And, and really getting respected and, and getting even noticed. People paying attention, you know what I'm saying? That's what that was, Get It Together. You know what I'm saying? Made it to MTV Jams, got numerous BDS spins, you know what I'm saying? And that's what flourished into this right here. You know, my work ethic was always crazy. Nigga always loved to work. Music is my life, you know what I'm saying? But what it did was it inspired me to keep moving. It gave me an understanding that, you know, the people might accept me. You know what I'm saying? That's when it, it caused me to put out the mixtape, The Pursuit of Happiness, which features some of the biggest artists in the game, from um, Rick Ross to BG to Fabulous, you know what I'm saying? Et cetera, et cetera. And that was basically the, uh, you know, that was the, that was the format for me moving, you feel me? I'm in the best position in my life right now. God is good, God is great, you smell me? Um, he, he, he's definitely giving me the opportunity to shine and glisten and show that, you know what I'm saying, that Beantown has talent, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas out here scared to get on a motherfucking plane, stuck in, stuck in a 50 mile radius and don't really get outside the hood. And what niggas gotta understand is there's a world out there. Go get your motherfucking passport. You know what I'm saying? Go see the world. Nigga just came from Paris, Barbados, Colombia, Medellin, Bahamas, Jamaica. You name it, Amsterdam. A nigga been there. You smell me? And it, and, it, and, it, and it opened me up to new vibes, new sounds, new ethics. You smell me? First and foremost, I got my own DVD called Ghetto Report DVD. Something that I was doing way before, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm, I, I was Mass Pike Miles, the solo artist. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I got another company called Capriscorp, um, Capriscorp um, Incorporated that basically uh, focuses on web design, MySpace designs, um, uh, mixtape graphics, album graphics, whatever you have, what, 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 whatever you know you can possibly think of, we can design it for you. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, but you know, I got my artists my, as well as my business partner, Smoke Bolger, Russia, Fast Life, and my company, Life for Life. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's what I'm doing right now. Not only that, but I got some clothing lines in, in venture. You know what I'm saying? I got some TV shows lined up and movie scripts on deck, ready ready to be shot. You smell me? Well, like, you know what I'm saying? And it's not even about being an orange, you know, it's not even being about about being a musician or about getting on. You know what I'm saying? If, if this is what you want to do, it's like, yo, you smell me? Y'all got these cameras out. Homie got his camera. You got your camera. Y'all moving like a team's supposed to. You got your man on the side of you. 
Proper preparation prevents poor performance. And I'm gonna say that again. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if you want something in life, you can get it. Just stay determined. You know what I'm saying? Be persistent and keep your foot on these fuck niggas' necks. Stay sucker free too. You know what I'm saying? But all you gotta do is hustle and believe in what you believe in. A nigga, you could be the, a nigga could tell you you suck. All right? Well, there's a lot of niggas out here that suck that's eating a lot more than what I'm eating and what the rest of these niggas is eating. You smell me? So at the end of the day, it's about your grind. It's about your hustle. It ain't about talent, my nigga. It's about hustle. It's this right here. You smell me? What's going on, Boston? What's going on, world? My name is Dante Luna. We out here in the snow. You see where um, Austin Mass is down the street from Boston. It's kind of like in the Boston area, but we get it in. The hip hop scene is, you know, it's pretty heavy duty out here. Um, there's some of uh, my people, it's Leeds Entertainment, Threes Up Entertainment. You know what I mean? They brought the uh, Mass Pike Miles out here to Boston. I'm Best just saying, As you can see, as you can see. Mass Park Miles, man, we out here at Hoppers Ferry, Austin, Massachusetts, down the street from uh, Roxbury. Not that far. You know, 20 minutes should be there. Hold up. See, you know what? You know what's crazy? I always been a nigga in Roxbury getting money, you feel me? I always loved money. Well, I was selling coke, I was selling weed, or I had to stick a nigga for it. A nigga was for it. You feel me? So, you know, shout out to all the real niggas and real bitches again. But you know, in the midst of a recession, I'm, I'm in the pursuit of wealthiness, you know what I'm saying? In the midst of a recession, I'm in the pursuit of happiness. You smell me? So let's get to this joint, man. This is my first video on World Star, man. This is for the Smash and Pay Balls. Let's go. You already know what it is, it's your boy Mass Spike Miles again. You all tuned in just in case you forgot. Dante Luna TV, right now we have my show. Harper's Ferry in the heart of the bean. You know what I'm saying? About to make a movie. You smell me? Oh, well, you know, I got my whole team. I got my about a hundred niggas with me. Russia, Fast Life. That's alone a good 70. Let alone street status and, and uh, Millie's and Specialist ENT from New York. We, we mobbed up in here, you did? I'm gonna say, you know, you know you got street status? You just, know. just released just just release this new mixtape, Malip Manipulation. Manipulation, go grab that, thatpiff.com, baby. Pick that That's up. Brand. Not only that, but they are personal directors of Russia. You know what I'm saying? We're making movies, baby. We're making movies around here, as you know. That's my nigga Hashish. Boom, boom, what it does is your main man has seats for us all day. You know what I'm here? My brother, Mass Pike Miles, at the number one spot, Hopper's Ferry. I love Boston rap. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, one thing I, I've noticed is there, there's a growth in the young youth that's coming up. All the little niggas that's coming up is ruthless on that microphone. They're teaching us old niggas a lot. And I call myself old being 28, but at the end of the day, niggas that's 18, 19 years old. You smell me? Give a nigga, give a nigga a little swag. You smell me? But that's what it is, though. Just all, you know, just hard work. Nigga, you know what it is? We're bringing niggas up around here, man. I'm from Roxbury, Massachusetts, from Highland Street, you smell me, like you know what it is, like that's why I ride in circles in, in my bins, y'all niggas be over there, I be right there, you wanna see me, it's too easy. You already know what it is, shout out to the homie Dante Luna, best television show that you ever encountered, you smell me, fuck with them niggas, they real niggas, 
salute to all my niggas in the beam that's trying to get on. Dante Luna TV, cocksucker get in tune. Yeah.